Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So really the big focus is going to be on this Colorado low that's going to spin up 313, 314, exiting to the south into New Mexico through 315 and probably retrograding back into Arizona. Um, so Colorado, you've got light snow accumulation on 312 and then your heaviest period is 313, 314 and then lightening up on 315. Tetons, you will get a swipe out of this storm system. Light snow accumulation afternoon 311, moderate 312, 313. Wasatch, very similar um, timing, moderate snow into 312, lighter snow 313. New Mexico, you've got light snow accumulation 313, and then moderate 314, 15, and your heaviest period looks to be 316 into 317. In the northeast, you've got rain changing to snow. Um, with the next storm system, 315 and 316. All right, let me just show you what I'm seeing here this morning on water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, your moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues, and there's a little storm system sliding through the Intermountain West right now, kind of, a, kind of a vanguard little storm system. But here's the main one. This is the one that's going to push a lot more precip into the Pacific Northwest, B.C., and then the whole thing is going to come diving down to the south with a buckling northern branch. So let me just draw it right here. That's going to guide it all the way down into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, and eventually New Mexico. The low will develop or spin up somewhere down here, and that's where we're going to get a lot of that enhancement of the snowfall. Here's the, uh, the forecast, rate, or forecast uh, jet stream by end of day today. You can see where it's running up in the Pacific Northwest and B.C., so that's where a lot of the precip will be shuttled. Then tomorrow we start to see it buckle. Here comes the main storm dropping into the south, into Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado, 313, 314. And look at the low get cut off and retrograde back to the west through Arizona over the top of southern Utah, and probably affecting parts of Las Vegas as well. So that's 315. Here's 316. The pattern moves on. And look at the big high pressure ridge that sets up over the Pacific Northwest and BC. So it's going to be high and dry, 316, 17, 18, and probably 19. And the jet stream starts to come back down by the 20th. Uh, but that'll be an interesting period. All right, looking at the forecast radar and satellite, by 530 today, you can see some of the very light snowfall associated with that, that pre-storm, that early low. Main storm sitting back up in the Pacific Northwest. All right, here's 312 in the morning. Main low comes south into Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho. And then we start to see this Colorado low develop around the panhandle of Oklahoma, southeast Colorado, northern New Mexico, 313. Three, look at that. It's rain in Denver, afternoon 313. But it's snow probably above 6,000, 6,500 feet. And then watch what happens. By the morning of 314, it changes over to snow all the way down to 5280 in Denver. Storm strengthens a little bit. You're looking at heavy snow enhancement through the foothills and up on the continental divide. All right, here's the morning of uh, here's the morning of 3:15. Storm slides down to the south, slides back to the west, kind of gets cut off, and then the flow kind of moves on. There's 3:18. Look how dry it is Pacific Northwest and BC through 3:19, and then the jet starts to shift down to the south by 3:20, and it changes the pattern back. Okay, my latest grand total map. Grand totals by late 320, um, obviously the biggest numbers that stand out are in Colorado, northern New Mexico. And the bulk of that is from that storm system that spins up 313, 14, and 15. Looking at probably 10 to 20 inches across Angel Fire, Taos, and Ski Santa Fe, most of the resorts in Colorado will go 1 to 2 feet. There will be some totals that may tip over that. You can see I've got, and I'm going to zoom in on these numbers in a second, but um, it's about a 1 to 2 footer. Looking at uh, about 6 to 8 up in the Tetons, 4 to 10 in the Wasatch, and anywhere from 6 to 12 up in the Pacific Northwest. Another maybe 3 to 8 through interior BC and also Sunshine and Marmot. Uh, let me just take you in onto this map. So this is a 3D look. You're looking towards the west, northwest, through the foothills of Colorado and up to the Continental Divide. So Denver's down below. Um, and you can see it's going to be potentially a big storm for the Denver metro area, but look at the foothills potentially two feet or more up through Cold Creek Canyon, Allen's Park, Long's Peak, Estes, um, through Genesee and Idaho Springs and Conifer. Classic upslope type of storm system here where well, we're going to get these north northeasterly winds that help to pile up that precip, lift it up and enhance the snowfall. Um, so that's a possibility and I'll show this forecast 
all the way leading up to this storm system each day so you can see how it updates. Now let me break things down by time period. Uh, today through tomorrow, next 48 hours, there's most of the snow is up in the Pacific Northwest, BC, northern tier states, but it's starting to drop down, especially on 312 through the Wasatch, the Tetons, and in the Northwest Colorado. All right, next, door, next uh, time period, 313 to 315, this is when the low sets up across uh, parts of southeast Colorado, northern New Mexico, and the big numbers start to accumulate as that rotation starts and we get the lifting and the orographics in place. Okay, here is 316 through 320, leftover snow, Colorado, New Mexico, and as the jet comes south on 320, um, some snowfall through interior BC and Banff. Okay, let's go to the northeast. So most of the snow here, a little bit of leftover snow through this morning up in the northeast, but then that next storm system that comes in will go rain initially and then changing over to snow. And you can see the potential there for some moderate snow accumulations through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning's update. Obviously, a lot to focus on, especially this Colorado storm system. Um, so hang with me through the week. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in here this morning, and take care.